and we're back with some more RimWorld. And the murder munchkins here have a, uh, a journey ahead of them. Uh, there was a bit of a question in the last episode as to how we should finish this off. Should we do the royalty quest or should we do the landed ship quest? And the result was overwhelmingly about 238 upvotes for landed ship. Only 38 upvotes for royalty. So, yeah, that was a massive swing in favour of the landed ship. And then we got 110 votes that said we should do both. That's right, we should, we should simultaneously do the ship engine activation and also at the same time do the royalty one, which, honestly, I think that's a cool idea. I would love to give that a try. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be possible, but I'm doing some prep work in the background so we hopefully can. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to research pianos. Uh, I think you need a piano for the royal throne room. Uh, you see, the problem we have is, where is it? If we go in here, grab one of these, where are you? Yeah, yeoman. Uh, we're going to go with Stellark. This is what they're going to require. We need to build them a throne room. Uh, we'd also need to build them a bedroom. Now, food requirements, not a problem. It turns out they can live on insect jelly. We happen to have just gallons of that stuff lying around the place. So we could theoretically do it. The problem we do face, though, is, well, it's to do with the world map. Let's have a quick look here. Down over here is where we're going to have to go. And unfortunately, it's a desert tile. And as a desert tile, that could be a problem. Uh, it's just uh, desert tiles are, well, difficult for us to survive in. Now, over here, where is this? Yeah, we've put in a wood fire generator and we're putting in an electric smelter. We want to smelt some armor down. The reason being is, where is it? Yes, this piece of armor right here. It turns out this pawn came equipped with gold plate armor. Now, this was pointed out in the comments and it was a really good spot. This stuff... This stuff is amazing. It's uh, its market value is only 116. That's because it's tainted. If we actually check out the market value over here, materials and labor is 1700. That's its base value if it wasn't tainted. That's a lot. That is an incredible amount. You go grab that and bring it back home. All right. Well, we'll see what happens if we scrap it. If we had have zapped them, we could have basically used that to clean out an entire town. As it is, we're going to take it back home, we're going to do stockpile it, and we're literally building our first ever wood fire generator just so that we can plug in an electric smelter. And we'll see how much gold there actually is into in that armor, even though it's half degraded. Now we get to find out how much that armor actually smelts down into. No, it has been degraded down to 47%, it seems leaving it lying around was not good. And ring and pinky now get the... Okay, how much gold was that? How much? How much? 425 gold? Dear Lord. Okay, I need to keep an eye out for people who are wearing armor like that in future. I mean, I was just going to let that rot away in the uh, the corpse lake. My bad. My bad. Thanks for pointing that out in the comments. Anyway, uh, we've uh, stuck together a few thrones here to increase meditation speeds. Reason being, this the meditation speed on this is terrible. It's surrounded by a whole bunch of things that uh, is sapping its meditation focus. So we stick in thrones for most of the people. Everyone bar index, I think, has two at least two meditation types. So we will have to get index uh, at least 11 of Dignified or something like that to help them out. We are about to get some mad research done. And when I say mad research, all of that research is being poured into pianos. Yep. Our tribe still has not managed pianos. Also, we haven't managed refrigeration. But hey, what can you do? Oh, carcinoma, thumb. Let me guess, nuclear stomach? Yeah, that's grand. With the amount of food we've saved, who cares? We've also got two new lovers. Ring and Knuckles have hooked up. Well, did not see that coming. I was trying to get Ring and Pinky back together, but it looks like Knuckles has sort of married themselves into the family. Well then, Knuckles, looks like you're sticking around for a while longer, uh, but you're still going to be sort of ablative and will probably end up dead. Or at least you're probably going to get a bit injured fighting on the front line. Finally, we managed to research your piano. Um, that took far, far, far too long. I think we're probably going to need carpet making as well. I'm not going to bother with... Them. We're trying to stay, keep all of our research well below the, the medieval stuff, so we're not going above electricity. And the only reason we have electricity is because of that uh, tech prof's persona core. We're going to have to be really careful, though. If we're going to the ship, if we lose any of the things like the Starflight sensors or anything like that, we can't replace them. We're going to have to protect that ship very carefully. Otherwise, even if we do successfully activate it, if something on it is destroyed, we then have to get the research necessary to replace, like, a Starflight computer. We're a bunch of savage tribals. We don't have that tech. Oh, uh, let's uh, do some things here. There was a heat wave. It has finally ended. All the animals ran away, though. We managed to kill enough to keep us going. There was a couple of raids by the landmine pirates, but they were all off in Australia, so didn't care about those. Inspired taming for Pamela, solar flare. Plague took out a couple of our donkeys, but the uh, the ones we like stayed around. Mad tortoises, they turned into food. 
and uh, nothing really crazy some wool dropped out of the sky and we've got a minus 10 relationship because of australia still ah jira so our relationship with them is reduced to 47 we can throw some money at them if we need to keep them sweet the empire don't like us a bit because i maybe stripped one of their people who ended up uh, disabled or uh, got knocked unconscious but we can bring that back up as well. A little bit of trading will be sorted. For the time being, we're just going to knock out the last of the research so we can get out of here. I've, I can't remember the last time we spent this long on the same tile. While we were busy doing a few operations on Ring here, we were giving them a psychic sensitizer, a quick eye, and what else did we give them? Ah, we're giving them a bionic arm. Do they need the bionic arm? No, but we've got it lying around and they're already unconscious, so let's do it. But we've had someone else join. Grey. Now, Grey here is not what you would call prime murder munchkin material. Uh, now, if you look at their bio, that doesn't seem... Th okay, they're a careful shooter, which is usually not something you would associate with the murder munchkins. They're a pyromaniac. Okay, we've got that, that going for them. That's that's good. Problem is, they're 82. They have Alzheimer's, two cataracts, and they're frail. All of these traits do not scream, oh my god, and they're being chased by... <laughs> okay, I think we all know how this ends. Um... Yeah, I, w I was going to get them to try and come down here and maybe maybe kill this. Maybe they can do it. You know what? Let's have you attack that as quickly as you can. I don't think they're going to make it there. Like, this is this is a race to maybe get off an attack or two on... Oh, wait, no, there's one coming from this direction. You dead. There, there's just no escaping that. You are so dead. Now, one thing I've been thinking, though, this would... This down here would actually be a wonderful place to set up uh, a defense... Uh, by that I mean, if you look here, there's actually a built-in shield, and you could wall that in with... Oh, yeah, there's Grey. Grey's down. And, yeah, they're they're not going to survive. Dear Lord. Well, Grey, you moved into Australia. That was never going to end well. Though so this is going to give all of our colonists a slight negative debuff. All right, uh, where were we? Nails is... Uh, Thumb is currently putting together an unfinished piano. Uh, everyone else is just knocking out the last of the research we sh which we should hopefully need. We've got carpet making out of the way. We're just going to knock out the royal apparel in case it's necessary, and then we can get on with getting out of here. I have decided I, I don't really want to deal with the negative mood debuff from... Well... From dealing with this guy dying. So I think what we're going to do is skip over there. I didn't mean to take all four of them. Oops. Well... That was a few more people than I was intending, but that's okay. We'll just uh, get everyone together. I think running away is the uh, better part of Valor. You do not, you do not want to end up stuck in Australia. Uh, we will go over there. Well, this version of Australia, anyway. Boop. <laughs> okay. That worked out. All right, now uh, we just got to get them tended to. We don't want them dying after all the effort of going to rescue them. Karia has been mostly healed up, though they're not feeling very well. We're uh, going to just arrest them and then let them run away. How long is that going to take them, though? Oh, wow, they are exceedingly slow. 0 0.59, that's... Uh... Okay, buddy, you run. Uh, Chief, please don't try and shoot them. Just let them escape. They'll be fine. Once they're out of here, we can... <laughs> I can't believe you went all the way across the map just to let them go. Well, it just it results in less morale problems for us in the long term. We're just about ready to go tackle the uh, the ancient tomb over here. But Grey, it seems, their uh, newest not recruit has lost it. They went into a murderous rage just before they got to the edge of the map. And now they're having this weird flim flam back and forth with their murderous rage trying to pick someone to kill. It's, yeah, they're, they're about to run into some visitors. It's not going to go well for them. But you know what? That's not a big problem. It's just more of a minor annoyance. Wait, what are they doing now? Okay, now they're actually decided to run away again. I think they've finally given up. Okay, that's good, that's good. We'll get everyone over and open up this new tomb. Knock, knock, who's home? And it's bugs. And what do we got? A uh, suit pulser and advanced components. Not really worthwhile. Let's hope the caskets have something worth operating on. Well, that was pretty quick. Let's go in and see what's inside of these. You know what? Oh, just in case they have anything. We'll open it from the doorway and then we'll see what's what's worth zapping and what's worth not keep, what's worth keeping. Ring is equipped with a pistol, so she can open this place up pretty quick. Let's see what we got here. Nothing worthwhile. Learning assistant, healing enhancer. Ooh, nuclear stomach. Those things are pretty damn rare. We definitely want the nuclear stomach. Healing enhancer would be nice. What kind of gear are they wearing as well? Recon armor, good. Yep, yep. We're, we're definitely zapping them, though we can't get them from around the corner. Damn it, I'm worried that one of them is going to shoot them. 
Though I think we're more worried about Nyx over here shooting uh, Ring. Mm. What should we do? We are going to have Ring use Beckon on Nyx to drag them forward. We're going to have Knuckles run in and hit them a whack. And you are going to go over this direction. And once you're far enough to the side, zap them. Okay, they're on fire. That's good. Uh, did we... Oh, that's an insanity lance. Oops, that was a waste. Uh, where did we put our no knockout lances? One second. Middle has uh, what we're looking for here. Uh, no, middle does not. That's an insanity lance. What are we doing? I think... I don't have anyone with an actual shock lance anymore. They've all got insanity lances. How did that happen? I have no idea. You know what? Let's just uh, finish them all off. There's no point faffing about here. I think what we'll do, though, is we'll have... We'll melee them and try and set them on fire. If we can set them on fire, that gives us the best chance of maybe capturing them alive. Okay, that's none person on fire. You two, I want you to hold fire for now. Uh, what we're going to do here is just set them on fire. I figure if they're on fire, we just let them burn down. Uh, that's good for you. And then we just won't touch them. Hopefully the fire will slowly do enough damage to knock them unconscious. Uh, you, don't, don't, hold fire. Hold fire. God damn it, guys. Uh, just uh, get out of the way. Let them do what they're going to do. All right, that's all of them down. Ooh, that one's already unconscious. I think we'll just let uh, Mark run around until they fall over. We're going to strip all the people we can. Uh, they're still on fire at some point. Oh, damn it. They've recovered from the fire. We'll have uh, Knuckles go over and say, have another word with them. Knuckles, set them on fire again. There we go. <laughs> At some point, they'll give up, right? Oh, come on. Don't run near our people. They have this uh, horrifying tendency to just murder people a lot. Come on. How you doing? Come on. You got to... <sighs> Seriously? Fine. We'll send Knuckles after you again. <laughs> oh, my God. They're picking... Never mind. You want to pick a fight with a turkey? That is okay by me. Uh, give me a minute. Despite uh, very, very slowly nibbling her with fire, she did not go down. That's probably high on go juice. I should have known. Uh, pity. All right, we'll strip this place out and get out of here. We've got a little bit of extra insect jelly. We're slowly collecting quite a bit of that for some reason. Oh, and we'll hunt that one down as well. Might as well add to our meat collections. All right, let's pack it up and start moving out. A couple of construction projects before we leave to get done. Grand meditation throne, a wooden dresser, a royal plasteel bed, a wooden end table, and an alpaca wood drapes. Now, the reason I made the bed out of plasteel is it takes ages to make, and plasteel doesn't burn so good. So it shouldn't be flammable. Yes, flammability is 0%. That's good. Now, the uh, wooden end table, wooden dresser, they can be remade out of anything, and the alpaca wood drapes, who cares? Steel grand meditation throne, well, that's a lot quicker to build. I can live with that if that gets destroyed. I think that's everything we're going to need to finish the... Uh, well, that, that should allow us to get up to the royal quest if needs be. Though, it should show up here, shouldn't it? The uh, the one for allowing the, the baron to show up. That's... Hmm. Before we send everyone off, let's just have a, a quick throne speech. Uh, Nails, you might want to attend. I think everyone who's conscious should probably show up. Chief is currently having a little bit of a nap. We gave them a bionic eye and a psychic sensitizer to blow through some of the leftover parts we had lying around the place. Let's see what Pamela's odds are of not doing a terrible speech. That went pretty well. Encouraging speech. Perfect. We're not going to get Chief to do his speech just yet. Their odds are pretty terrible right now, probably because they're still suffering from a lot of anesthetic. I'm sure they think they do a great speech, uh, but yeah, we're, we're, we're going to wait until they recover from that. We have cleared out of this place. We settled in for far too long, but just as the Royal Tribute Collector shows up, I was thinking, uh, we've, got, we've got one person who definitely definitely, definitely wants to go back in there. Index. If we send Index back in we, with some gold, we can buy ourselves another level. Uh, actually, we'll send in Middle and Middle as well, because Middle doesn't have the dignified meditation. Everyone else has a high enough level to meditate at a throne. We send Index and Middle back in. Their immediate plan is to go right up to these these two, the, the Royal Traders, and get ourselves some honour. As well as that, there is a few thrombos that have shown up here as well. It might not be a bad idea to see if we can't... Uh, uh, collect some meat for the team. All right, index has arrived. They drop off the gold. Oh, I should probably ch should point this out just before we go in here. The only meditation folks have right now is natural. Once we're finished this, how many points do we need? 
Oh wow, we have nothing. We're gonna need like seven points. I don't think we're gonna be able to get both of them up. And if we give them, say, 400 gold, that will get us six honor. I don't think that's quite enough. We'll need uh, one more point. Yeah, one more point will get us yeoman. There we go. They're up to freeholder. Or yeoman, sorry. So they're up to yeoman, which means they need to get a, a yeoman ceremony. And where's middle? Middle, do you have any gear on you? Nope, you do not. In that case, middle, I want you straight over here. You're going to do some trading as well. I think they know it needs slightly less. They've already got one point on them. Now, the reason we're going through all this effort is so that when we do get to our final destination we can meditate at thrones as opposed to needing something like an anima tree which might be in an awkward location or surrounded by a bunch of stuff that would be really difficult to meditate around this just makes our lives so much simpler and eh, we'll give them 400 gold as well that gives us the straight up to six boom um knuckles caravan met feastly with the caravan from southwest alia okay cool we can get some trade on they actually have this skip side trainer we are totally taking that skip is this super powerful ability. Uh, we also got a mining skill trainer, psychic shock glance, suit pulser, and a donkey. We didn't actually trade them anything because we want to save that for the towns. We'll get a better rate at towns than we do as running into people while on the move. Uh, let's go back in here and finish this off. What was it? Ah, uh, yes, middle's done. You know what? Let's level these both up right now. We can immediately accept these quests. So we can accept that uh, index is one. We can accept middle's one. Uh, they'll come in, they'll grab their ceremonies, and then we're going to go kill those uh, thrombos that are on the map. While we were waiting for this crowd to show up, uh, Marulio has joined us. I think this is the worst candidate we have seen so far. Incapable of violence. Yeah. <laughs> That's not going to work, buddy. <laughs> They're called the murder munchkins, not the friendly munchkins. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's see. Uh, index, is it your turn? Uh, go to the, do the bestowing ceremony, do the bestowing ceremony, boom. And now if we check them out, they both have the dignified meditation focus, which is perfect. We're going to re that'll be really useful later on. Now, uh, let's arrest Mauricio and imprison them in here, I suppose. They can, they can escape to their heart's content, we don't really care. Uh, try to arrest, yeah, go and arrest them. Uh, we'll imprison them, they'll escape, and then... Off, yep, yep, go on. They could me oh no, they're escaping, yay. Hey, we'll grab these two and go find those thumbos. Where do we leave them? To take care of these thrombos, there's four of them, which might be a bit difficult. So what we're just gonna get Index to do is berserk one of them. There we go, and now that they're insane, they should hopefully attack Mental State Berserk. They should pretty much attack anything in the local area, which should hopefully be other thrombos. I like that idea. Uh, what has Middle got? Middle does have Skip, so I'll tell you what. How about we Berserk this one as well? And we'll hit you. Zap, that's fine. Then we'll grab the Skip ability. And we'll skip them right over there. Ah, perfect. So, uh, let's have our people hold fire for the moment. Thrombo revenge. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the thrombos will want revenge at some point, but that will mean that the thrombos are going to fight each other, and then whatever is left alive will finish off. Should be a handy way to grab a couple of thrombos. I think the amazing thing about this is how long it took them to kill each other. Just thrombos are so incredibly tough. Downed and sleeping. Well, one of them's going to bleed out in seven hours, one of them's going to bleed out in eight. This one's going to bleed out in six. This one's going to bleed out in 12 hours, but it's actually coming for us. Eh, I think we got it. Oof. Yeah, well, that's getting a little bit close. We might end up having to skip it. Nope, never mind. All right, uh, well, let's go grab the rest of them. Uh, a quick round of butchering should give us... Oh, wow, we might have to bring some animals back in to help carry all of this. I, I don't think we can... Yeah, I'm not sure we can carry all of this. <laughs> Oops. Hey, it'll be worth some cash one way or the other. All right, enough of that faffing about. We've, uh, oh, we're going to go trade with this town down here. That's uh, an empire city. Uh, back here, I think we are done with that section. We can get rid of it. Uh, we still got Australia over here, but that's fine. We'll go down doing some trade over here, do a little bit of trade over there, and then we're going to start heading down this general direction. I'm thinking a good place to do a little mini, mini stop off would be down here. There's a couple of uh, other empire settlements I'd like to trade with. We might even pass through here and kill whatever is in there, just because, you know, we can. Oh, and we do have to do a couple of stops to pick up some more Luciferium. We've only got about 60 or 70 total. We need uh, 100 and something, and we need to get everyone on it. We want everyone on Luciferium because that's just the way it is. And Monster has given birth. I'm going to assume Monster is probably one of the donkeys. A waste of time. This place is terrible. All we got is a psychic shock lance and some chem fuel. Uh, just the worst. I don't even think they have medical services. Oh, wait. Nope. Still, they don't even have basic medicine. That is... that is just depressing. 
All right, well, in that case, let's get out of here. We'll head over this direction, but I'm thinking we're going to stop along the way. We need to stop and do a little bit of raiding because we need to get our hands on some more Lucy. A quick settlement right here. That should get us started. We're going to send in everyone but Knuckles. Uh, it's just Knuckles is the newest, and as well as that, it's really annoying to get all the men with the correct sidearms and stuff like that. We just know Knuckles has one sword, and they're building it so we don't have to worry. Uh, we'll get everyone over here, and then we'll break this open and see what goodies they have inside. Hopefully some Lucy. We just need to get up to about 100 or so before I feel comfortable. Knock, knock, open wide. Let's see what's on the other... Oh, centipede sides. Ooh, 19 Luciferium. Yes. Uh, Inferno Cannon, is it? Yeah, that looks like an Inferno Cannon. Pikeman, Scyther. Ooh, Thumb. You should probably skip that one, like, right now. We want them right there immediately, just to make sure. Um, we might want to bunch a few people up there as well. We don't want them all shooting through uh, Thumb. Yeah, I think this should be fairly handy. Okay, now everyone here, going to need you to hold fire. <laughs> it's just, if we don't, they're going to shoot through Tum, and I'm pretty sure one of them is going to shoot them in the back of the head. That would be bad. Hey, simple solution. That's one down. Okay, we teleport the Scyther out, get him in range, shoot him, shoot him, riddle him full of bullets, and then we melee down the, uh, the centipede. The Inferno Cannon centipede should be handy enough once we get it in close. We got an angle on this, on the Scyther. Oh, you know what? We should probably tell everyone they can fire now. Uh, fire it, will everyone? Damn, it walked that stuff off, though it's close enough to death. I think it's uh, it's melee time. Let's see how it handles this. Yeah, that didn't go so well for it. Oh, Jesus. Right, uh, let's go beat up a... Let's go beat the snot out of a centipede. Uh, you over there, let me think. Uh, come on, every... Oh, wow, that's actually... Oh, damn it! It went into a nice little choke point there. I'm not facing that thing one at a time. Hell no. Uh, okay, everyone. Melee attack that centipede. Oh, God, that's such an annoying location. Fine. You want to be like that? Well, in that case, we are going to have those people switch to ranged weaponry. Except for Chief, who for some reason didn't bring his gun with him. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's just an annoyance, really, more than anything else. Looking around, there's actually an Arquitech eye over here. I never even noticed that on the way in Glitter World Medicine. Yeah, yeah perfect. Um, I think we'll just uh, we'll line everyone up by each one of the caskets and maybe have a, a zap lance ready to go in case any of them are worth keeping. Plan here is very simple. We open up the caskets and if any of them don't die instantly, we check them to see if any of them are worth zapping. Oof. Right, let's see if any of you are worth keeping. Well, if any of your organs are worth keeping. And by organs, I mean, you know, something like, oh, stone skin or something like that, that would be really great, but nope, you all seem like disposables. This does not look like a uh, a useful group. Uh, tell you what, why don't all of you melee attack down Alex over there? Um, and Norbert, you can strip them when you're finished. That went actually quite well. Wow, most of them just ended up unconscious. That is useful. Okay, and we also got how much gold out of that? 215 gold. We need to do an awful lot more tombs. 19 more Luciferium? Yes, please. Also, a bunch of random junk. Uh, yep, that's fine. Confirm. You know what, you can meet them up there. If we check in here, this should be a rather quick loading setup. Uh, all of you... Ooh, one second. I should make sure they're not focusing on carrying their melee weapons. Otherwise, things will get really awkward when they come back in. Uh, getting them to switch to the other weapons is just... When they come back in... Uh, wait a minute, no. The sidearms mod, it basically puts their weapons in their inventory. So when you try and bring them into a new tile, if you don't put that also in their inventory or their sidearm weapon, they just leave it behind. It's kind of annoying. Same thing with Luciferium. They didn't bring any Luciferium with them at all. And Pamela, why are you moving so slow? Oh, yeah, massive brain injury. You know what? Let's uh, let's get you on to the Luciferium. You're going to need that sooner rather than later. So, oh, no, that's supposed to be social drugs. All right, so fine. With her on the Lucy as well, that should hopefully end up curing that brain injury so she can move a little bit faster. Oh, looks like someone got a Luciferium addiction. Pamela. Yeah, she's dipping into the supply. That's fine. Uh, trade over there. You know what? I think we'll... We'll rest early for the night so that everyone can get in a good night's sleep, and then we'll do another quick stop in the morning to raid some more tombs. Ooh, 
this is a nice one. We've actually met with a trade caravan. That could be helpful. Please tell me they have something worth buying. We have, we are so overloaded. They are unfortunately not willing to buy a bunch of our stuff, but they will sell us two prestige cataphract helmets and a stone skin land, which yes, that is definitely going to increase survivability. Also picked up some simple meals just to keep us on the road. I'd prefer not to dip into our pemmican and reserve food for as long as possible. That works out pretty nicely, thank you very much. Uh, we're just going to stay here for the night. Uh, the reason we're staying here is, one second, is that the right tile? Yeah, we're going to stay here for the night. First thing in the morning, everyone should be well rested and good to go. We'll go raid a second tomb, and then, you know what? We might send Index ahead so that we can fire skip. And actually, no, we're not going to fire skip. We're, we're going to do the walking. I kind of like it because it results in more interactions. Stopping on this new tile, everyone can go pick up their weapons. Oop, oop, slow that down a little bit. Someone's missing one, Chief. Yeah, Chief. Where? Don't you remember? You're supposed to have that. And who took off their pants? Seriously, you t fine. You wanna you wanna get into fights in the nip? That is fine, fine. <laughs> yes, psychos. All right, let's sit up down here, shall we? All the crew are lined up and good to go. Now I always keep thumb on the end because they have the skip ability, and the skip ability allows them to jump stuff out of the way. And all we've got is a pikeman. Eh, fine. We'll uh we'll go jump the pikeman out when the time comes. Come on, pikeman. Come to the front door and say goodbye to your life. Come on. Come on. Ah, there we go. And it... Well, that was really quick. Fine, let's have a quick gander and see what's in the tombs, but realistically there's only three of them. I should maybe just move on already. All right, let's open our prezzies and see what we've got. Uh, the middle over here has the psychic, and psychic shock lance in case anyone comes out with anything worthwhile keeping. Uh, reprocessor stomach, no thank you. Gastro analyzer, no thank you. Bionic leg, ooh. I think we'll keep that one. Oh wow, the one we wanted to keep with the bionic leg? Psychically deaf, so literally we can't capture them. It's not possible because they're deaf. Right, that's uh, that's just wonderful. We'll just tell all the rest of them to hold fire. There's no point our people shooting into that, into that mess. Anyone who's still standing will be dead in a second. And there we go, only one of them actually lived. We quickly put this entire area in the home zone just so that the stuff counts towards cargo and then we can go set ourselves up a quick caravan and get everyone out of here. Um, I think one more stop? One more stop along the way I think would be worthwhile. This should be a rather quick pack up and go job. Yeah, they got everything. And we are out of here. Pamela's gonna be a bit slow. Oh wait, no, no, no. We've put her on the, uh, the Luciferum. That should speed her up just a tad. Yeah, her consciousness is back in gear. Give that another 12 to 15 days and she'll be an awful lot better. Anyway, next. Time to merge up our caravans and be on our way. Uh, we're going to do one more stop tomorrow, but we'll keep an eye on our meals. Our simple meals are about to run out. Once they do, we'll switch over to probably the fruit. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll keep the pemmican for as long as we can. And one more tomb. Once this one's done, we'll go do some trading, I swear. Just, uh, we gotta open some walls and oh my god, that is the worst angle. Ooh, there's a bunch of animals around as well. What do we got? Nothing worth keeping, though we could kill some elephants for hides. Knock knock, who's in? And hopefully it's Luciferium. We would like some more. We're almost at 100 Luciferium in stock. Come on. Oh wow. That's... Three Lancers? A Scyther? And the pikeman? Okay, all for a good charge lance. A tech print and... Fine. Well, uh, you know what that means. Uh, we're gonna have to start skipping some of you about. Like, you need to be skipped to right about there. Uh, are you a lancer? Yeah, you are also a lancer. The moment you get around the corner, we're gonna have to skip you. This is gonna get a bit awkward. Chief, where are you? We're gonna want you to break out that hammer. Yeah, head over there, buddy. All right, and it's one down. Next step, let me think. We wanna make sure we catch those in close combat. That one's already lining up a shot. We cannot allow that. You need to skip over there. And uh, who else? You, you're not lining up a shot, but we'd like you out of the way. I have maybe queued up a few skips just to make sure things happen the way they're supposed to. Oh, Thumb. Thumb. Oh, wow. Thumb, what the hell? That was awkward, Tom. You should have had that off. One, they got off a shot. That could have been fatal. Okay, that's fine. Let's just melee down the last of them. I think that's it. Oh, wait. Here comes the Scyther. Ooh. 
Yeah, that should stun it. Uh, everyone maybe pull back just a little bit and let the guns do the talking. We'll leave that mess behind. Time to make a new mess in here. Let's open the script of sleep caskets and hope someone in... Oh, dope. You should probably get over there, yeah. Boom. Hey, right, what do we got? Well, none of them have any gear we really do want, though I will admit Lydia here got the worst of it. She spawned with a neural calculator in her brain, and the Zeus hammer that Chief is wielding causes an electrostatic pulse, which gave her brain shock and knocked her unconscious. That is just a bad way to wake up. Uh, let's uh, strip them as well, and strip them, and get out of here with our loot. Thank you for all of your goodies, we will take them. Uh, I don't think Lydia even got a chance to wake up yet from that brain shock. That only lasts about an hour or two. The, the crew are getting really good at ripping through everything. Hey, right, what are you hanging around for, people? Get out of here before Lydia wakes up. Quick, quick. <laughs> nice. Uh, that's done. I, I sent uh, Knuckles on. Knuckles is heading straight over to Cairo. Cairo? Whatever. They're heading over that direction. Once uh, we're going to fire skip after them and catch up with them. Actually, never mind. It turns out this crew is so fast they'll be able to catch up with Knuckles just as they're getting there. Almost just about. So I think we'll just have them visit. Or, yeah, well, we'll have them arrive and then we'll have them catch up a second later. No point wasting the, the side focus. As trading goes, not too bad. Doomsday, stone skinned land, 14 Luciferia man, a little bit of medicine top up. And we managed to get rid of a whole bunch of random gunk we didn't want anymore. Clothing, heavy items that we really shouldn't be carrying anyway. That should lighten us up quite a bit. What are we down to? 1500 kilos, thankfully. Hey, right, we're going to trade with these people 1.7 days. Mm. You know what? We'll do that. Once we've traded with them, though, we're going to actually do a hop skip. I think we're going to skip all the way down here or go as far as the shuttle will allow us to go. You know, it'd be a shame not to raid another tomb. I mean, we're so... We've got the 100 Luciferium, but... I'm thinking... Yeah, so... A little bit of that. Mm. Well, now everyone's on the Lucy. Yep, a little bit of an addiction going on there. Oopsie. <laughs> Time to uh, split up the team again. We're going to go raid some tombs. We'll lead Knuckles behind. We'll grab all our, our weapons. We have to select them here. Otherwise, the game doesn't know to use them. Well, for uh, the simple sidearms mod. Pick up your gear. Let's get going. Uh, everyone over this direction. You know what? We are just going to line up. There's, uh, there's actually two tombs here. There's another one over there. So we're just going to do this really quick. We're going to smash open one wall and then go straight for the next. No faffing about. If there happens to be some stuff ready to shoot at us, there's some stuff ready to shoot at us. We'll deal with it. Okay. Knock, knock. Ooh, where's Thumb? Oh, Thumb's perfect in front of the door. It's just, uh, I like to make sure that they're lined up so that they can teleport stuff in or out if needs be. And it's just a bunch of bugs. Fine, we'll send someone in to stir them up so that they run out to us. Oh, um, I was running index up and someone took a pot shot at one of the bugs and clipped these things. Right, uh, this makes things much more interesting. Are the bugs? Yeah, the bugs are angry at them, so this could work. I think we pull everyone back and let the bugs do their thing. Uh, we zapped one person unconscious already. Let's psychic shock lance that one too. Now, the reason I psychic shock lance them, they have a bionic eye we would like, and this person here has some marine armor we'd like. And then we'll let them and the bugs fight it out a bit. And then once all said and done, we'll run in and kill whoever's left standing. Ooh, poor Raphael. He decided to walk out the door. That just went badly for them. <laughs> oh, perfect. Anyone else want to try walking out the door? Come on. Oh, damn it, we set them on fire. You know what, we've set several people on fire. Let's just run in and kill everyone. Um, hmm. You... Melee down them, you melee down them, and if you're finished, oh, actually, you know what, take them off that, they can just kill whoever's nearby, same with middle, you can just do the same thing. Oh, whoa, 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 what do you think you're doing, buddy? Yeah, there we go. Okay, I think that's everything done, is it? Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't go shooting when our people are in the way, you muppet. <laughs> There we go, much better. 
Okay then, let's uh, maybe put out some fires, uh, strip some people of their armor, and we don't want to capture that person. Mm, damn it, this just got more complicated. We're going to have to do some little bit of minor surgery while we're here. Throw together a quick door, stick down a solar, whatever you may call it, that uh, solar pinhole. We're going to build a steel bed. Uh, Chief, I would like you to capture that. Oh, yeah, make that a prisoner bed first, and capture that person right there. Perfect, they get stuck in the bed. Everyone is now done. Did we get any medicine out of this? I don't think we got medicine. Damn it. I don't think we can operate on this person bringing medicine in. We'll stick McConnell in there in the corner, and then we're going to take the rest of the team, and we're going to go uh, to the other ancient danger over here. I figure we break this open, and if there's any medicine in there, we can use that medicine to remove the bionic part from this person. What is it again? Uh... Wait a minute, they don't have a bionic part. Why did we zap them again? Damn it, I grabbed the wrong one. I was meant to grab Norm or Alex. <sighs> God damn it. Fine, fine, fine. A uh, quick bit of fisticuffs, and unfortunately we killed them. Oh well, uh, that means we should probably release this prisoner. We don't need them. <laughs> oh, sloppy of me. Oop, oop. Index, nope. Bolt. Bold, Jesus, why are you still on your fists? Just just shoot the wall like everyone else. Whoa, God. Why are you sitting right there waiting to shoot us? That's just mean. Yeah, fine. Uh, 17 Luciferium, yes. Psychic animal pulsers, yes. Bionic arm, perfect. And six little world medicine, which would have been great if you could re remove that eye. Uh, let's get a, a couple of skips in here. And yeah, there's four of them in here that can be skipped out to their death. And one of them that can be skipped away so we can shoot later. Unfortunately, we can't grab both of those. So I'm thinking we're going to do a mass chaos skip on that one. Hopefully that will... Oh my God, stop that. There we go. It skips them all over the place. And now we have a better chance of figuring out who needs dying. Damn it, that... Ouch, that was not maybe the best. Bruise from a needle gun and a crack. Okay, uh, where are we going? What the hell is that? An iguana? How did Chaos skip an iguana? Right, okay, that's fine. Uh, we're going to have to teleport that Lancer and that Pikeman a little bit closer. All right, let's do this. Uh, you, I want you to engage that Pikeman right there. Ring, get in... There we go. Perfect. Now we've got most of the ones we want in close combat. We can go and start uh, hitting them up with the big guns. All close combat stuff. Thank you kindly. Middle. Yep, yeah, in you go. Oh, where are you going? Oh, wow, they're chasing after the prisoner. All right, everyone back to ranged. And that should be the end of the Scyther. Perfect. Now, index. How are you looking? Your sight focus is... Your sight focus is good. Oh, yeah. And let's go open these tombs, shall we? We should hopefully have something else we can steal in here. Maybe someone to operate on. Unfortunately, we're out of shock lances. I should really invest in a few more. You, uh, open that. Uh, once this is open, we'll clear this out, and then we're going to be taking a nice stockpile with us. Uh, oh, bugs as well. Eh, fine. Anyone still left alive? Oh, that one over there. And that person there appears to be missing their head. What the hell? God damn, Chief. That was like a one-hit-to-the-head smash. You just basically straight-up murdered that person, even though they were wearing green armor. Right? Uh, fair enough. Uh, let's take our spoils and get out of here. Unfortunately, Ring has went on a, middle, a bit of a mental break. I have been pushing them all to, well, to the limit. They're all ravenously hungry, and... Yeah, I maybe went one, one area too far. We probably should have just... Went to a new area and settled down, got everyone fed up, maybe dosed them with insect jelly before they stopped. But, assuming Ring recovers shortly, they're on an alcohol binge, which is going to be tough considering we just took all the alcohol binge and left the map. Unless they've got some on them. Nope, they don't. So, once they've finished recovering from that, we'll, uh, we'll have them leave and join up with the rest of the crew. Turns out that Ring, on their sneaky little binge that they were going on, uh, what was it, uh, yeah, their, their alcoholic binge, there was actually some beer left behind. I somehow missed it, or maybe he was the one scheduled to pick it up. Don't know. Uh, or she was the one re scheduled to pick it up. Actually, no. They are a male. No, we called him Ringfinger. Never mind. Anyway, I sent in Thumb to pick it up. I also sent Thumb in with the uh, the sword, the Doom Smasher sword, or the Doom Keeper sword, so that they could charge up their mana a little bit. You know, they're, they're running a little bit low on juice, so I thought, why not top them up in case we run into any trouble? Unfortunately, we ran into some trouble while they weren't with the rest of the group. And the rest of the group has been ambushed. So now we have, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people over here. And they're being ambushed by 124 humans. 
So we're down to seven instead of nine, uh, as well as that pinky's on a mental break. So realistically, we have six and a pawn we have to babysit. So that's, that's fun. Uh, so we have six people, realistically, with which we have to take on 124 tribal humans. Now, we do have some things going for us. They're all armed melee weapons, so this that makes things a hell of a lot simpler. If this was bows, I would be terrified. As it is, I'm just scared. And there's four boomalops here that I'm thinking we can uh, bring into the fray. We do have... Someone here has Manhunter Pulse. Where is it? Uh, yeah, Manhunter Pulse here on Index. So if we can Manhunter them, they should aggro towards them and cause them to bunch up. If we can get them to bunch up, we zap them with a Doomsday. Uh, we'll probably give that to Pamela. Uh, if we can give it to Pamela, the reason being she can call in aid... Oh, actually, wait, no, she doesn't have an aid. Maybe Chief, then. Give it to Chief, because if worst-case scenario, we can call in an Aero Drone Salvo. Uh, we'll mop up any of the leftovers, and we can use that to clean them up. But... I am miles overdue. I think I've got about 40, 50 minutes of footage. I kind of went a little bit overboard today, so I'm going to have to cut this out here. Sorry to cliffhanger you, but uh, we'll come back and we'll cut straight into this fight. <laughs> anyway, this is going to be interesting one way or the other. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's episode and uh, good luck. Mm -hmm.